thank you for watching my video on unwrapping half dollar coins I got 10 rows here ten dollars a row for us so that's a hundred dollars total it's January 2019 so I just want to see if I'm able to find any silver coins in here and I just wanted to share it with you in case you've been wanting to do the same so here we go we're gonna unwrap one roll at a time and see if there's anything in here Okay, so I got these coins from my local bank. I do have two different bank accounts. One with the local branch and then one with the big corporate company. The big corporate bank was actually wanting to only do it if I did a thousand dollars worth. It's the only way I could get coins from them. Half dollar coins. The other bank was willing to do it for whatever I wanted to do. So if you're interested, check with your bank, ask them and see what they tell you. So some banks will do it, some will do it, but it'll make you get a lot more, I guess. And others might not do it at all. So here's the first 20 dollars. So, all of these do seem to be from the 1970s, except for one that's from 97. Then the other $10. six rolls in I did find 1967 silver coin or I mean 40% silver um, it's got four more rolls to go so let's see if there's any others that show up So here's my collection that I came up with from $100. I was able to recover one half dollar coin with silver in it of 1967. 
So right at 1% of, of my coins had silver. Um, so just wanted to share this video. I'll probably try it a few more times throughout the year, see if the results are still the same. Or if I get lucky and find a few more or none, I'll share that with you guys. Um, this is a nice way to start off a set though, if you wanted to find like one from every year. As you see, I do have a good assortment of different years. So if you are looking to start off a set and collect one from each year, this would be a great way to get it done and complete it. The majority of my coins are from the early 70s, as you, as you see here, 74 through 71. There's a big stack of each one of those. Uh, the other ones, probably one, two, four of each one. And then, of course, two stacks of these guys over here. Thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed. And I hope that you were able to pick something up from this. Thank you. So, my one silver coin weighs 0.3 ounces. So I'm just trying to do the math and figure out exactly how much silver is in here. So the coin weighs 0.3. It's 40% silver. So that's 0.12 of silver. Now I've always been told that when you melt it down, you lose about 2 to 3%. So we're going to do 3%. So that's 11.64 ounces of silver. So currently, an ounce of silver is going for 15.83. So now we're going to multiply that by 15.83. So that is approximately a dollar and 84 cents of silver in that 50 cent coin. So about three and a half times it's face value I'm gonna try to get a few more rows see if I stick to that 1% find or if I get a few rows that have more um, I'll keep you posted stay tuned for other videos like the video if you learned something today or if you found it interesting and go ahead and leave a comment if I said something wrong or if there's anything you'd like to add on to anything that I've said for my other viewers to share, to share with them. Thank you.